Hello, I'm Russell Smith, talking to you from my South African past. I can slip into it, and this voice, a world of swimming pools and tennis courts and the wood smoke and sweet cooking mealy meal smell of winter and lacquer Sunday afternoon brais, just like that. My family's past is my other self. And when I'm back in Halifax, I remember my taste for beer and fiddle music and my A's and my R's start to flatten out. Bars become bars, cars become cars. And did you hear I said flatten out? And even when I'm here in Toronto, where I now live, I can, if I want special service on the phone, put on my received pronunciation, which I picked up from a year in England and from my strange colonial Anglophilia, and which enables me to pronounce house as heis and out as eight. And you know, I can speak French, but I learned it in France, which means when I try to converse with French speakers in my own country, also a former French colony, I sound like a pretentious foreigner, and I can hardly understand what my own countrymen are saying. Formidable, génial, chouette. My family moved around a lot when I was a kid. The biggest move was from one former British colony to another. When we were in the first one, South Africa, although we'd been there several generations, we hardly felt as if it was our place, given the political conditions of the time and that we were white. So we went to Canada, where we had funny accents and practices. We drank tea and didn't know how to skate. It's a funny thing about being from several generations of colonials. You're never in a place you can really call home. But you learn how to adapt very quickly. You pick up accents and vocabulary fast. You learn to skate. Theorists of post-colonial literature sometimes talk about hybridity as a defining trait of the post-colonial experience. Colonialism produces hybrids, ethnic and cultural. It produces shapeshifters. I may not look like much of a hybrid. I may not even look very post-colonial. Sometimes I just feel like a colonial colonial. But I like the idea of the post-colonial world full of all the unremarkable, rootless, walking around, not necessarily showing any distinguishing marks, carrying their invisible hybrid pasts inside them, a world of shapeshifters.